Rolling. <clears throat> well, this is Carl Storer then, pre Lincoln at home. Carl, just spoken to Daniel Parslow, who started every game of the season so far. Um, you're in the same boat as well. How much would it mean if you can start all 46? Yeah, I think uh, I was just saying the other day, it's a massive achievement um, to play every league league game this season or in, in any season. Um, it's a fantastic achievement. Um, you know, credit to uh, the management and staff, uh, the training they put on, the fitness levels uh, are very high. Um, so yeah, it will mean uh, personally, you know, a lot to me if I, you know, if selected Saturday. And how much as well to the medical staff for getting you through because you haven't finished every game recently, but. They've been getting you back out there and patching you up, and you've just come from the chiropractor. So <laughs> yeah. What are you having to go through at the moment to get yourself out there for three o'clock? Uh, basically, um, you know, Gav Crow puts a lot of time into me on and off the pitch. Um, you know, manipula manipulating my back uh, a lot. I've got a little bit of a problem in my sacroiliac joint. Um, so between him and Rob Grace, the chiropractor, um, basically it's a lot of cracking and stretching here and there. Um, basically, it's flexibility work. Um, and then a strengthening program in the summer, which you know I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be happy to do. It. I'll, I'll be back, uh, you know, next season, you know, fighting fit again. So um, a lot of credit to Gav Crow. Yeah, he's uh, you know he's a great guy, and uh, you know he's very very good at his job. So um, all credit goes to him. Hundred points still on offer if you get the win on Saturday. Just how much has that still been driving the team on? Oh yeah, massively. Um, and he's obviously Macclesfield and this Lincoln game coming up. Um, you know the gaffers now started to you know look at um, players and maybe a system for you know League Two next season. So um, you know everyone's still got something to play for. Whether uh, people are talking about their new contract or you know not been offered anything yet, and everyone's everyone's still got a point to prove. Um, we want to get these 100, 101 points as it is. Um, you know to go down in history as one of the few teams to get over the hundred marker. So yeah, it'd be nice to. To complete that and finish the job off in front of our home fans on Saturday with it with three points. And you mentioned contracts there. Obviously, the club had to protect itself because of parachute payments not being there if they'd have stayed down yeah. for next season. So one year contracts for everyone. But just how much has that made everyone hungry and just sort of kept everyone together as a squad, if you like, emotionally, so that you know actually <coughs> there is this chance now with you all going up together. Well, yeah, it's obviously. The club would have struggled if we if we didn't get promoted this year. Um, obviously, we, we know the academy probably um, you know would have played a big part of that. Um, but yeah, you know we've been together all season. It's we we knew we knew the uh, job at the start of the season. It was to get promoted. Um, everyone had one year contracts. I think apart from um, Harry Pell, um, and, and we knew it. No one knocked the gaffer's door. He he said he didn't want no one knocking his door. And you know, everyone listened to him. If if everyone's got hundred percent trust in the management and what they're doing, then you have no issues. Um, and I think you can see from the personnel we've got here and characters that um, you know, we 100 be behind the gaffer and, and, and Russell in what they're doing. So there's never going to be no issues over that and you know we believe in, believe in what they're doing. Lincoln, you end the season against the team you started the season against. Just so much water under the bridge since then and just shows how much you've grown as a, as a squad and a team. Well, it does massively. I can remember um, the first game of the season quite well. Um, you know, I've played against Lincoln on the first game of the season three or four times, uh, being a kiddie, and it was always the, the first game of the season for some reason. Um, and, and again this season, and I can remember going into that that game this year, and for the first half, it was absolutely unbelievable. I've never seen, I've never been in a team that went to Lincoln, obviously that early on in the season and took the game to them. Um, and I thought then, you know, <laughs> we could get this right, we, we, we could actually win the league that early on in the season. Um, second half, you know, fitness levels. Um, showed a little bit, but um, they're a good side, Lincoln. They're a good side, and we put our marker down early. Um, they had a bit of a push towards the playoffs uh, you know, back end of Christmas, um, but they uh, they filtered off a little bit, and you know, it's still going to be a tough game. They've got some good individuals, and uh, you know, but we're looking for, forward to, like I say, wrapping up and putting smiles on our fans' faces and um, a three point Saturday. And trophy presentation after the game is. Aaron Downs going to be the John Terry to your Frank Lampard? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, Downs, he looks like more like Lou Carpenter, our neighbours. But um, uh, <laughs> listen, um, yeah, Downs, he, he's a skipper, and uh, you know that's obviously totally down to him. Um, you know, he's got the uh, he has the armband when he plays. So uh, if he wants to lift the trophy, uh, you know, fair play to him. It's been it's been a tough season for Downsy. Good man, thank you. Cheers, Good thanks. I think you said after the after the Halifax game that you've been waiting all your life to get your hands on that pyramid, and then yeah. they, they've changed the trophy. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, um, but it's yeah, it's one of them. It's 
I always look forward to get get, get my hands on it. But there we go. It's uh, it's still the Bannerama National League trophy, so uh, it still means the same. So yeah. Um, I spoke to Paz about this and asked him whether he, this was the best season of his career. Would you say it's the best of yours? Oh, 100%. Um, yeah, consistency. I, I think I've had a, I've had a good season. Um, but it worked, you know, people like Paz and obviously Downsy and people like that I've played with, Ace and Pelly, uh, it all helps um, in, individuals in their own game. Um, I think they've helped me be, be consistent and vice versa. Um, you know, obviously we want to win the league if people weren't consistent throughout the season. Um, but going, you know, looking at my my personal season, no suspensions, very little injuries. I've always picked a couple of injuries up, maybe um, a couple of weeks out here and there. So, uh, very pleased with my fitness levels and uh, yeah, you know, um, and my total appearance is very very pleasing. This is the first season you've gone without a suspension. It is, yeah. <laughs> um, you could tell we was getting debt when we we, we weren't um, doing well in the league when we were lost about three or four games. Uh, and it was getting a bit edgy. I was picking up more bookings because uh, we're getting desperate to get over the line. But uh, I think six bookings. I think, I think yeah, I'll take that every every season. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, uh, with the negotiations, obviously you and Danny are, are, are the two that probably the manager can think he could offer five quid to and, and, yeah. and get it. D- d- is it going to be an easy negotiation for, for you? Uh, it will be for me. Yeah. Um, obviously, I want to stay here. And, um, I've spoke to the gaffer. He, you know, he's keen on keeping me here. So. Yeah, there's no issues. I, I, I want to be here for a long time, as long as uh, you know my career and the gaffer allows me to. So uh, as long as my performances are, are, are going well, then uh, there's no problem with that. Are you excited for next year? Oh, definitely. Yeah, um, it's not really sunk in yet. Obviously, winning this league, because obviously it's you know you've had a couple of games left uh, after you've actually won the league. Um, but I'm sure when the uh, you know everyone's in the summer holidays and we're relaxing, and you're just thinking about them. And days where we win the league, and you know the the games building up to it, it will, it, will, it will hit home. But yeah, very excited about uh, League Two. I think the fixtures are out on the twenty second of June, so I'll be um, glued to TV and news that day. So uh, let's hope uh, let's hope we have a good season. Sinking over a glass of lemonade or two in Magaluf for it. <laughs> lemonade, it will be lemonade. <laughs> right as well. Shandy Bass, I think. <laughs> Cheers.